Hey, what's up, everyone? Taking a quick look here at Bliss Pop 3.1 running Android 5.1. Now, this is currently running a build from April 17th. It's 1856 code name, and it is running Elemental X as my kernel. There's a lot of issues with kernels, particularly the Franco kernel does not work very nicely with this ROM. So be aware of that. You will get boot loops and things like that. But Elemental X has been pretty consistent with most of the builds that are being released. And it's a pretty great kernel in general. It does have a aroma installer so you can tweak a lot of settings or frequencies if you want to and get some more battery life. Now, generally, I get about 30 minutes of screen on time per 10% with this kernel. So that's roughly about four to five hours of screen on time, depending on usage. So that's going to give you a rough idea. Now, you are going to have Bliss uh, ROMs OTA here. So it's going to give you an OTA update thing. Uh, it won't necessarily flash right away, which is a good thing because you can back up before you flash. But it is going to download straight through here, so you don't have to go to a website or do anything crazy or fancy. You can also go into your settings here and change your frequency uh, update check here to daily, three days weekly, or you can go real crazy between 30 minutes and all that. Now, I recommend that you use the black theme, that you can select your themes here and use dark or light. But I, I like the dark theme because it's not going to use up a lot of battery life. Now, you are going to notice that I am using a theme with my Bliss Pop. This is Black Octopus. So if you like this, that is what it is. It is completely compatible with Bliss Pop. So this is going to be a really long video if I go and tell you each specific detail, so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to tell you is that you can pretty much customize anything you want to with this ROM. And what I mean by that is you're going to have your pretty much basic stuff with every other CM-based theme or CM-based ROM with Bliss Pop. There are a couple things that you are going to have, like Gesture Anywhere and the app circle bar that are built in. But in terms of uh, changing up your actual features or anything like that, this ROM has everything. So in the status bar, you will have all of your clock and date settings, your battery status, and you can change everything. You can change the color, you can change, if you're using the circle dot, you can change the intervals of the circle. Here you're gonna see the dot length and dot intervals. So you can change pretty much anything you want. So if you watched my Dark Cat review, basically Bliss Pop is Dark Cat with all of those color customizations you can change anything you want to with bliss pop so just keep that in mind you know you go into these sub menus and you're going to have all of your basic features you're going to have the ability to change anything you want to on that status bar and you can change the colors within that as well so you get a lot of really really nice features now they do have a bliss logo but it's not compatible with my current theme but it will be placed up there if you want to use that or show that off for whatever reason but yeah, everything is super customizable. You can change the clock and date. You can put that pretty much anywhere you want to. You can also adjust the font as well. Now, the navigation settings here are pretty much standard stuff as well. You can actually double tap on the nav bar to put it to sleep. You can also go into a left-handed mode when you are in landscape. And you can do a lot of different things with customization if you use the actual navigation bar, like the actual dimensions you can change based on portrait or landscape. So you can go in here and change those values. You can also change up the way the uh, layout is if you want to go into buttons and layout and you can change or switch up your orientation or the way it looks or priorities or you can add additional pages if you want to. You can also set up long press actions and you can use the nav rings. So if you turn that on, you'll go back and then enable the nav rings. So you go in here and you hit edit and then you'll add the application or the specific task that you want to in both of those locations or you can overwrite the Google now if you want to and then just click OK and you're good to go. You can also reset those both on the nav bar or the nav ring targets. So full customization there in your nav bar just like every other ROMs with some really nice extra features. Uh, as I mentioned, you can switch things around. Now the recent options is going to have some different stuff that you're not going to find in some other ROMs. You do have a memory bar which is pretty sweet. So if you go up here, you're going to notice I have a little memory bar. It's going to show me how much RAM is free. And if I close out applications, obviously that is going to give me more RAM. Now you are going to have a clear all recents button with this ROM and you can place it anywhere you want to. Uh, you can also use the search bar if you want to and enable or disable that. So pretty standard stuff in there in your recents. But I like that memory bar that is included. Notification drawer is going to have pretty much everything you're going to find in every other ROM. Super customizable. You can change up your toggles and your actual uh, tiles. There is a ridiculous amount of toggles that you can go in here and choose from. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much got everything you want. You can also adjust them. You can add, remove. Uh, the ones that I like to keep if you're interested is Wi-Fi, LTE, location, portrait, flashlight, my screen on time, and that bar that I disable when I'm not using it for ROM reviews as I use swipe control. I'll go over that in another video. 
But yeah, I like these features a lot. And you do have your quick uh, detailed settings down here, advanced location settings you can enable, and your detailed Wi-Fi view. So if you're not going to highlight those two up there at the top, let me show you real quickly here. If you're not going to enlarge the first row there with the two, you will get your advanced quick toggles by enabling those features. So I can get back in here and get into my advanced quick settings. So that's really, really nice with this ROM. You can change that up. You also have custom color options with this BlissPot 3.1 where you can change up your colors. So super customizable. Like I mentioned, if you watched my Dark Cat review, this is basically the same thing. You can customize anything you want to with this particular ROM in terms of colors and customizations. So that's pretty much all of that. Your uh, heads up notifications, pretty typical stuff here. You can change up your timeout interval there. You can also change up your touch behaviors and you can add do not disturb or blacklisted apps. Pretty typical stuff. Lock screen options, also pretty typical stuff. You can change the weather on your lock screen. You can add middle shortcuts, which some ROMs don't have. So if I long uh, press here to lock my device real quick, you're gonna notice that the middle targets are right there. So you can add applications here and trigger what you want in terms of applications or, or specific um, actions within here. So you just add them and go in here and choose what you want and then you'll be able to do that within your lock screen. So that's great stuff with this ROM. You can also add a clock widget. You can, you can change up your clock widgets. You have a visualizer. So if you're playing music and you're in your lock screen, you can see that visualizer. Pretty nice stuff. Uh, you do have long press lock icon to sleep as well for whatever reason, if you want to use that. Uh, you do have your lock screen options in here. Uh, I forgot to mention your bottom corner target. So you can change your applications, your quick uh, toggles there on your lock screen. You're also going to find this in another menu outside of here, but uh, that pretty much covers that. You do have a really ridiculous power menu here, so you can enable a lot of stuff here with your power menu. So if you long press that power menu, that's basically what this is. You can change up all of your settings or controls in here. So you have device lockdown, setting shortcuts, user switcher, profile switchers, screen records, uh, screenshots, which you can set up a delay if you want to, and your one-click reboot or your reboot menu. Now, advanced reboot options are enabled by default, which is great, so you will get those advanced reboot options. Uh, everything else is pretty typical. You get your gesture anywhere if you want to use that. Basically, if you uh, set up a gesture on here, you can enable, well, your calculator or what have you. So if I tap this and hit C, it's going to launch my calculator. So you can do that with whatever app you want. You can pretty much move it anywhere on the screen and you can turn it off by dragging it down there to the X and you're good to go. So you can enable that if you want, if you like gesture anywhere. Same thing with your app circle bar. So you can turn this on and it will be on the right side here. And it's just basically a little wheel where you can put all your applications and just get to them rather quickly. Uh, you can enable all that trigger width there, the position and height, just like with the actual gestures and the app circle bar, pretty much the same thing, just different features. Uh, you can change up a lot of animations. So if you like your IME animations or your toast animations to be specific to your needs, you can go in here and just pretty much anything you want to, which is some really great stuff. So BlissPop has a ton of great features in terms of customization. You have a built-in equalizer. Most CM ROMs have this equalizer. You do have themes, which most ROMs have these themes. To show you guys real quickly what my themes are. Uh, what I'm using currently is Black Octopus. This is free on XDA. You can also buy the premium version on Google Play if you want to, but it is free if you want to check it out on XDA. I'll put everything in the description below. Coil Field is a premium, but it's pretty slick. Deep Darkness is, in fact, free as well as Nicholas Dark Material. I also have this other one, but I'm just experimenting with that. But these are some really, really great themes. Uh, but I am using Black Octopus during this presentation, just so you guys know. Now, in sounds, you are going to have some pretty great stuff. You can link the ringtone and notification volumes. You also have your volume steps included, which some ROMs don't incorporate. And that's great to have in BlissPop. Uh, you also have this really cool volume panel timeout. So that's basically when you, you know, panel, you get your little panel here when you're getting your volume settings. Another thing to mention is you do have vibrate and you do have a complete silent mode. So you have three toggles here. You have your audible your silent vibrate and then you have complete silent mode so you don't have to go into your priorities to get silent if you want that feature that's super great and you can adjust that panel timeout as i mentioned right here so you can go default three seconds or five to 15. i like mine five because sometimes i like to tinker around until i get happy uh you have your typical stuff there with notification and tones and then you have your increasing ring volume you can turn that on and enable your start volume ramp up times if you want to change that up you can launch your music application with the headset if you plug in your headset, it will launch your application automatically. Other sounds, pretty typical stuff, but you do have vibrate that you can enable. And you do have notification sounds and you can change your charging sounds if you want to go that route. 
but you do have advanced options here in your sound settings, which has your camera shutter sound, screenshot sound, and safe headset volume warning. So if you wanna disable those very annoying little things, you can come in here and do that. So that's a great feature to have. Uh, your typical stuff here, vibrate on touch and also vibrate on calls. Now, if you are using the stop kernel included with Bliss Pop, you'll also have a vibrate intensity that you can change. But since I am using Elemental X, it takes that away, unfortunately. So I'm stuck with that really rough, intense vibration from the Nexus 6. Display and lights is going to have your LED notification lights. Super great stuff here because you can change that up. Uh, the battery light is going to be uh, compatible with Elemental X, just so you are aware. So this will be completely compatible. So if you want to disable that, Elemental X will be compatible. I think I said that a bunch of times, so I apologize. Uh, notification lights, typical stuff here. You can come in here, change this up based on your settings on what you want it to be for. Now, if you use custom values, can add specific applications if you want to and change the color values on that based on RGB. So great stuff with your notifications and Bliss Pop is going to have LEDs. It's also going to feature the LCD densiter. You are going to get that in your advanced display settings. So you can go in here and change up your density based on the values here or a complete custom value. Great stuff. You're also going to have expanded desktop included with this ROM, which a lot of people like and I actually like it and use it. And you can enable a quick toggle for that if you want to within your quick settings and quick toggles and tiles. You also have wake on plug that you can enable or disable. So if you are charging your device or plug it in, you can choose whether or not you want your display to activate. Uh, another thing is with sleep, you are going to have an additional 45 seconds. I actually like that in between 30 and one minute. So that's great. And you can also toggle that as you can see here, your screen on time and your quick settings if you want, as well as your nav bar. So great stuff there. You do have double tap to wake and double tap to sleep here, fully functional. You also have that on the status bar and you do have that on the navigation bar. Be aware that you can't double tap to wake on the nav bar though, because there's no nav bar when the display is turned off. You do have your ambient display advanced features. So you can go in here and toggle this on if you're a fan of the ambient display and you can get really, really specific with all of the settings. Most of you know that if you don't just go in there and figure out what you want to enable. I know a lot of us don't like ambient display, but for those that you do you have that option with this particular ROM. Uh, live display has some great stuff. You can actually change your color temperatures and your overall saturation and what have you. I actually use the day mode here and you can also toggle this in your quick settings with the tile if you want to. I leave mine at 7000 for the day setting and 6500 for the night. I like the 7000. It's kind of perfect for that temperature setting. It's right in between warm and, and uh, cool. So you guys can check that out. You can also play with the display modes if you want to, and you also have a color calibration that you can mess with. That will be up to you, but everything else is pretty standard in here. It does have a smart cover. So if you have a cover with a magnet or whatever like that, you can control how that works with this particular uh, ROM. I think that's becoming more um, integrated with other ROMs too, at, at least from what I've seen. Everything else is pretty typical though. You do have your notification manager and your lock screen, which is also going to have that smart lock feature, which is still kind of a little bit buggy, but it's finally working on some ROMs, I do believe. But your typical stuff here, you can show your patterns. You can do a lot of crazy things. Now, one thing to note here with the newer ROMs or CM based ROMs is you can go from a three by three, four by four, five by five, or six by six pattern lock now. Super crazy stuff, but just be aware that if you are going to go into TWRP with a pattern code or a pattern lock, uh, there's some uh, issues with that password setting because you can't use pattern in TWRP. So be aware of that. So you will have to use like default password for your password or something like that. I'm not too aware or not too uh, sure about that, but just use a pin code if you're worried or just disable it before you go into TWRP and you shouldn't have any uh, issues. But yeah, everything else is pretty much the same here. You're going to have system profiles if you have this enabled and you can access that with your power menu if you want to. Privacy guard you are going to have with this particular ROM. You can turn this on and block certain applications from accessing personal data. You can also blacklist phone numbers or people from calling you. Stats collection, whisper post options, your basic stuff. Everything else, pretty much the same. Super user there, if you want to access that really quickly without going through the application, you have the performance, which is going to be more towards you if, if you're using the stock kernel. Typical developer options, uh, I will mention that the actual animation times here, I believe, go all the way to 0.25x. So that is some great stuff. As I mentioned, advanced reboot comes ticked on or turned on by default. But you do have OTA, as I mentioned before, you can see the change log. And this is in fact running 4.17 to 
2015-1856 codename. This has been pretty much flawless for me. Uh, if you run a build past this or a build before this and you're experiencing some problems, you might want to check out this one. And I do recommend you try Elemental X if you're experiencing any problems with the stock ROM or you're getting boot loops from whatever ROM that you normally use. Elemental X is pretty great. Like I mentioned, I get about 30 minutes of screen on time per 10% uh, of battery life. So that equals about four to five hours of screen on time, depending on your usage. Hope this video wasn't too fast. I did try to go over everything, but there's so much in this particular ROM that it's hard to go over every particular detail. But I hit it all in a nutshell, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to the channel as you will see more videos like this in the future. And guys, I hope that you do because I love making videos like this for you. Anyway, I'll catch you guys as always in the next video.